And here is the actual best. Uh, actually, let me let people know that we're playing the best Fighter Maker game of all time. Because this game is... Yeah. So, this was a game, I believe, uh, started life in 2003 and got updated two years... Well, one year ago. We're not in 2023 yet. Uh, <laughs> but... Uh, who among us hasn't had an accident climax? <laughs> I, I, I think... Uh, I, I think if you get one of those, you're supposed to, like, uh, you know, wash your blankets and stuff. Uh, t 2007. That's, uh... Oh, hey, Miriam! I'm just gonna be here playing the best Fighter Maker game of all time. Uh, what is going on here? Hold on. <laughs> right, um... Why is the game still playing? Wait, hold on. I like how I'm all like, oh yeah, this is the best game ever, and then, like, I fucked it up somehow. Okay. Let's try this again. The thing is, it doesn't like joystick being on while I use joy to key. It freaks out a lot. Because it's, uh... It's silly, like that. It's, uh, a bit above Knuckle Fighter. Okay. So we got this guy. Don't remember much about him. Don't remember much about this guy. Other than he had some good moves. Uh, this dude's got a lot of Haomaru stuff. Don't remember much about this guy. This dude is a real pain. He's actually got... Uh, there was that Twitter post that was like, Oh, this dude just straight up has KOF 13 style cancels. And nobody else does. So that's something. This dude... Get back here. Okay. Uh, so this dude has a staff, but he's able to shoot parts of his staff off as projectiles. This is uh, one of the numerous Toho references. He's got like the Marisa hat, but you can't really tell from this angle. Uh, Renage? I believe that's his name. Uh, he looks cool. Yim, who uh, <laughs> has that stance. <laughs> this guy who has the uh, Akira Yuki Chesto, and it's like frame one, and uh, one of the worst things to deal with in fighting games. This guy, the Rekka character, he's awesome. Dezuno, who kind of just does that. I'm not really sure. This is basically Suica. Uh, he is my main in this game, more or less. This guy, I always have a pain fighting in arcade mode. And this dude is Shin from Hokuto no Ken. So, they just threw that in there. Uh, this is a K Das Pastiche, but weirdly you can't pick him. I, I don't know what's going on there. Well, uh... Yeah, the announcer is telling me to hurry up. I will pick my main. Okay, so check out how this game moves. No, Rexel, I will not buy followers. Had it? You're ruining. You are ruining. The best game ever. Okay. So anyway, look at look at the movement of this game. Did he just refill both of our health bars? <laughs> See, if Mortal Kombat moved like this instead, I feel like it would have been an even more successful series. <laughs> 
It's like, God, like, I don't know how all these Western live-action games don't, like, don't, like, have mobility and air dashes and shit. It's like, just look at how awesome this is! <laughs> Yeah, this is like the game you pull out when people mention Dong Dong Never Die, and they're like, that game is like, that game is bonkers. You're like, <laughs> check this game out. <laughs> oh, and unlike, uh, unlike a lot of other Fighter Maker games, this game lets you continue when you lose, which is revolutionary. <laughs> Battle Monsters is its own genre. <laughs> I remember somebody... Oh my god! The bots! Why are there so many bots all of a sudden? Hold on. No. Shut up. Okay. I wanna... I, <laughs> I wanna become famous on my own terms. That is a KO scream. <laughs> yeah, I remember uh, some people compare Battle Monsters to the first uh, Kizuna Encounter game. I think that was Savage Rain. And that's very accurate, honestly. <laughs> I think Savage Rain was the first one, right? It was like kind of the more platformer y game, whereas the second one was like the tag team one. It's like, yeah, lo looking at footage of that, uh, that, I'm like, yeah, Battle Monsters is just that game. <laughs> oh my god. Shinra, stop! That is his name. He's not related to the guy from Durarara. At least I don't think so. I love that KO scream. Okay, this is this is the guy I always have trouble with. Yep, he's doing it. He's doing it again. <laughs> that super is just really good because you can just do like a whole bunch of stuff after that. Ugh, God, that tackle, it like beats out everything. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> oh, all right, that's just my back. My back hit a medium basic. <laughs> also, for just being a Suica fanboy, this dude's voice rolls. Ugh. He has a really good, like, pissed off voice when he does attacks. Yeah, it's pretty great. I feel like that was like something they noticed wasn't right and they just kept it in anyway. <laughs> it seems like something these guys would do. Okay, you can combo into that. Interesting. Ugh. Oh, he has the uh, DP move of that one lady from Hello Project. As a wind pose. <laughs> this dude had a pursuit attack and I forget how to do it. Holy shit! <laughs> I'm just beating the shit out of him, okay. <laughs> but yeah, you can probably see why this is like number one on my fighter maker list. Like, this is like endlessly playable. It's complicated? In a way, but once you get used to the controls and kind of how everybody works to an extent. This guy is my main because he's one of the most he's one of the simplest characters in the game, <laughs> but Hi. 
Ugh. Damn it. <laughs> Alright. I feel like the bar that he has is supposed to be something specific, but... Yeah, that's the thing, like, the, the way the game looks, too, is, like, perfect <laughs> for this. Also, the announcer is really cool sounding, too. Yeah, like, out of all the, all the Fighter Maker games that need net play, this is absolutely one of them. I think there's a Discord for this game, even. Uh, I have to... Search around Twitter to see if anybody mentioned that. Ugh. I mean, there's like discords for like Bloodstorm, so this is certainly a. I mean, a discord for this game would be, well, I mean, honestly, a Mizumi wiki would probably be better. Ugh. Oh, I noticed I didn't really bounce him that time. <laughs> Yo <Yomizu. laughs> <It's God. laughs> Yeah, like the voice acting goes like it bounces it back from humorous to actually kind of like pissed off sounding, and it's great. <laughs> oh god, why is this guy like the hardest one for me? Because <laughs> that move, that move is bullshit. Like, one of, the, one of the things I noticed about this game is that when you see a move that is way too good, you know that it's too good. <laughs> if you want some real bullshit, though, uh, we have the final boss coming up in a bit. <laughs> Also, it seems like in a lot of situations, like, air recovering is not a good idea. Because <laughs> they just, you, you air recover, and then they just anti-air you immediately. Damn, that is rough on the corner. I forgot what the super button was for a second. Damn it! <laughs> you got him. But yeah, when I make my own live-action fighting game like a fully original one, I wanted to play something like this. <laughs> I want to be the first Western Dojin live-action fighting game that realized that you can have mobility in your game. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't really bounce as high. He had like a fucking vacuum effect on that move! Ugh, we're gonna beat this guy. This is a game that's so good that even trying to beat the same guy over and over again is still really fun. <laughs> wow, he just immediately blocked that. <laughs> I've beaten him before, it's just never, never f the first time <laughs> it's the problem. <laughs> Jesus! I'm... I'm... Uh... I have no power. I think the thing is, if you use special moves when you don't have meter, it just puts you in a... It, like, penalizes you into being powerless for a bit, which is kind of shit, but... 
The meter system's kind of weird, but you gain back meter so fast it doesn't even matter. Ugh. Okay. God, that sucks. Damn it! <laughs> okay. What? What? Oh, hey, Arp. <laughs> Just in time for the best fighter maker game of all time. I'm not even kidding. What? What the hell is going on <laughs> with this guy's vacuum abilities? I never really noticed them until tonight for some reason. Hold on. <laughs> did he do Peach's move with a Toho Dot? I think he pretty much did, yeah. What? Knowing the references in this game, I'm sure there's a couple of, like, Nintendo ones. And yeah, Raidy is, of course, there. Ugh. Why does this guy have a shoulder tackle that goes through everything and also a vacuum effect special? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the thing. Like, not everybody animates a lot, but it looks really smooth at the same time, just because of how they use them. It's... Oh. I'm sure I'm not saying any of this right, but you know. Hold on, hold on. Damn it! <laughs> uh, we, we gotta, like... When Combo Breaker happens next year, uh, we gotta get this game popular enough to where it gets an event. You know, I'll just talk Frog Crow into getting uh, this in for Solcon. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's the, uh, ground version, so that's gonna be useful. Mm. Oh, does that send them in the air? God, that's... that's evil. Oh, Sonic Fox playing this game would be fucking amazing! <laughs> Can we just, like, tag them and, and, like, be like, Oh, I bet Sonic Fox isn't gonna play and lab this, so that they'll do it. <laughs> Oof. That was very close. <laughs> also, this music is very appropriate for this fight. <laughs> oh, Axis! You gotta stop that vacuum shit, man. It's... It's cruel. I think everybody in this game is kind of <laughs> capable of some really cruel things, though. Don't... <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Fuck off forever! God, that was satisfying. Alright, so Joka here, that is his name. As previously mentioned, uh, apparently he has some KOF 13 cancelled stuff going on, which is scary. Also, he is the announcer. Yes! Why do they sound so angry?
<laughs> we live in a kendo society. <laughs> He did an inex inescapable air combo that did 50% damage, and you're laughing. Let's just say that Joka won't get his revenge in a, <laughs> in a few stages from now. He's kind of already doing it. <laughs> what the? I don't know what that was about, but... <laughs> I'm just gonna read what Harpa said here. My father was broken in top tier. My mother tried to counterpick. He didn't like that. Not one bit. <laughs> uh, that's so good. I don't know what... The, what's with this dude's icon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think there's not only command basics for, like, back forward, but also, like, up forward and down forward at the same time? Oh my god, that does look like Jack French! <laughs> Balance and secret meeting too. That must be sarcastic. For some reason, what I remember most about Jack French is that he just like shat on Canadian cuisine for some reason. It just seems so random. <laughs> <laughs> this game brings me endless joy. I think that's generally what I have to say about it at the end of the day. And I hate that it's so insanely obscure, because, like, look at this. Oh, here we go. So get ready for this, boss. Yep. That, yeah, that, <laughs> this boss is something that they created and put in their game and released. They, they wanted this to happen. Human beings were malicious enough to bring this character into existence. <laughs> Why he does that? Yeah, that's. <laughs> we'll fight against him over time and then, uh. We'll go back to the relatively normal experience of playing this game. I wanna make that my ringtone. <laughs> Birth of the darkest impulses of the human psyche. Yeah, that's. Okay, one more time. I feel like I've gotten close to beating him once as another character, but... This is the real general challenge. I feel like people were at least able to hit general most of the time. <laughs> Hold on. Oh. That's the Fire Pro World confirm sound, which drives me nuts. Why is he... Yeah, it feels like Super Gianta took inspiration from this guy. I wasn't able to do anything there. <laughs> okay, well. Yeah, it drives me nuts that that is obviously what that is. It's... Uh, kinda wanna play... Yeah. B 
three dash. You can only watch. It's <laughs> just real about Fatal Fury special rank. So I keep forgetting to uh, add the chat window back. I was doing some really cool stuff with this guy the other day, and I can't remember how I did any of it. <laughs> There we go, yeah. Ugh. Whoa! I don't know what I did there, but... <sighs> okay. Also, I really appreciate how much importance uh, this game places on dashing basics. I loved it when uh, Matra Melee did that, and here it's even better. I'm gonna add dashing basics to my game as well. That is the first time I've ever seen that one post. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Well, that was a... Uh... <laughs> that was a move I just did by accident somehow. <laughs> mm. Boy. <laughs> I'm not sure what the cheater mechanic actually does. Maybe it's a counter mechanic of some sort. Okay, I know how to do the counter, but I don't know how I did that that awesome follow-up. <laughs> Come on! Oh. oh, that doesn't work. <laughs> I thought I thought it would. <clears throat> oh shit. Okay, that that air bounce was uh serious. But again, it seems like when you do uh counter moves, that's when the stars show up and most of the wall bounces happen through that. I don't know what that one poses. <laughs> All right. But yeah, I gotta, I gotta get flame to like do at the quest video on this game. It's, uh... Me thinks Rumblefish is a bit much. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that 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 wall bounce was like ridiculous. <laughs> Oof. Also, here's just some dude with a with a big shirt. <laughs> Oh, hold on. I think I figured something out there. Oh, right, I remember. This is the guy that just kind of like spins around in the air a lot. Whatever Toho spun around a lot, he's probably that one. <laughs> mm. 
Come on. <laughs> I think part of the reason why there's nothing from this game made in Mugen is because... 90% of the work would have to be, like, figuring out how this game works. <laughs> That's, like, most of the work that you would have to do in order to convert a character from this, I imagine. <laughs> whoa, whoa! <laughs> I tried to art money this and all I got was the Vinci code. <laughs> Lena Kalexo couldn't really find the code for the uh the mana bar and battle monsters. That is just that, but for an entire game. <laughs> That's enough of you. Wow. <laughs> that KO'd. I, I think it just did a burst? I don't I'm a cheater, <laughs> I guess. Oh, this guy. This guy's also a real pain to deal with. I know it doesn't really look like much right now, but... I just haven't let him do his bullshit yet. <laughs> Here we go. There's not really a great way to follow that up. They're even saying it like righty, so I, I wonder if that's just intentional as like a weird joke or something. better be sorry. <laughs> I've got it to you. <laughs> There's a couple of Shizu Maru's in this game, which is scary. In fact, uh, the other one was the uh, dude in the black trench coat that uh, Super Joker kills at the intro. health do you have? Why is... Joker? 
Joko, what was that? Why did you have like a million health for a second there? Accent core guts, yeah. <laughs> Hmm. My counter didn't work. One day I'll find out what that meter at the top actually does. Okay, I thought I didn't fight this boss in the, uh, path I was on. Jesus. <laughs> okay, one more time. Oh, he got hit by that. Also, you can just keep hitting that guy. <laughs> Apparently, yes. <laughs> I forgot all about that. This is a very fair boss. Yeah, I'm not gonna fight anymore. I'm gonna play as the guy that keeps getting killed, though. Who? I don't know why. It might be the ponytail, but he just kind of reminds me a lot of uh, one of the ketchup mustard twins. I think ketchup is the one that always has his hair in a ponytail now. Also, I had a coat like this at one point. Oh yeah, yeah. So, Uranagi here. One of the few names I can remember. He's got some weird stuff going on. Come on. Damn it! Also, this is another umbrella user. <laughs> ah! Whew. Damn. <laughs> Damn it! Just being in the air and uh, when you're fighting this guy is not a. <laughs> What's the competitive history of this game? Oh man, <laughs> I love. Ketchup and or mustard to analyze this game. Probably be like the longest video to make. <laughs> that super just looks cool. Ugh. Uranagi will win at least one match tonight. Ugh. My playing is the Shiva of this game, is the. Uh... Oh, last blade, dude? Huh. I think I saw some other last blade stuff in here now I think about it. He says, Kuru de Aru. Uh, that reminds me a lot of Murakumo. I see. Right, I remember that now. <laughs> Killed him with Buddhism. <laughs> oh. What? Well, I. I shouldn't have gotten hit by that. <laughs> Ah, 
You know you're you're playing as Shiva when you have an overhead that whiffs crouching opponents. That is true. I'm glad uh, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 Plus is just working on making her a good character. Which good luck with that. <laughs> oh, he also has kind of the key to Kusanagi grab. Oof. Right, I forgot that that move kind of goes in the air anyway, so. <laughs> oh god, it's this guy. This guy I think is the best character in the game. You're gonna you're gonna find out how. I mean Shiva herself is god tier, but it's just, you know, not as a character. <laughs> so he can just kind of Look at this. It's disgusting. I don't know if it's an infinite? It might be. Uh, Jesus. You will see that guitar playing intro a lot. If you ever run into him, I'll just say that. Oh, is he? Huh. God, that looks so cool! <laughs> oh! I don't know how I'm doing that, but it's cool. Whoa! Why does this game have so much stuff in it? <laughs> yeah, he just has a parry. <laughs> it's... This all Japanese <laughs> battle craze <laughs> reboot's really, really weird. Yeah, I want there to be like a Takashi Miike uh, <laughs> movie about battle craze. Oof. I can't even pull out my umbrella? Oh, there we go. Whoa! That was the easiest time I've ever had with that guy. Oh, I did that way too early. <laughs> this character is just as determined to be balanced as the final boss is, yeah. I just feel like this dude has, like, more final boss energy to him. Mostly because he is Kagari and Shishimaru. I mean, uh, Shizumaru, not a uh, Shishimaru. That would, <laughs> that would be a nightmare. <laughs> I don't know what that super is. Mm. <laughs> oh, and he's also Murakumo, I guess. Mm. 
<laughs> I keep doing it by accident too. Also, he has like a. F I noticed he has like a m counter for the statues he drops. Not really sure what's up with that. Yeah, the special intro. They got beef. <laughs> now that they just recited Macbeth at each other. <laughs> oh. Go away! Oof. I mean, Uranagi is like one of my favorite uh, Shakespeare characters. A lot better than that Romeo fuckface. He wrote that right. I, I, I'm, I'm dumb as shit. <laughs> I guess he. I guess he fight this boss if he hadn't. If he didn't use any continues. That's what it's seeming like anyway. Oh god. <laughs> this is what canonically happens before you fight this guy as another character. <laughs> of course. Ugh. I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> Trying to fight this guy. So that was... That was Secret Meeting 2. Which I stand by as the best fighting game... Or fighting... Fighter Maker 2 game. No, Fighter Maker 2 is a 3D game. I'm tired. 2D Fighter Maker game. <laughs> Out there. Uh, <laughs> pick MK Advance Rain. That lightning block would <laughs> stun infinite is the only way. Imagine if they fucking made Super Joker and Mugen. That would <laughs> that would be a very on brand thing to do. Um, but yeah, definitely. This is uh. The top of the mountain as far as 2D Fighter Maker games go. Um, I can't wait to play more though. I think I might make this a recurring thing because there is a whole world of Fighter Maker that I have not gotten into. Uh, I found this through Twitter basically, so. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I'm gonna lay down, because I think that game took a lot of energy out of me. <laughs>
Uh, thanks everybody for stopping by, and tomorrow we will be doing another stream, which will be the uh, Creator Wrestler Lab, because there's some upcoming things in which I need to make some Creator Wrestlers for, uh, for a couple of games, so we're just gonna do that on stream, just to make sure I do it. <laughs> so, thanks everybody, uh, you be safe too, and, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>